going on everyone it's nina infinity welcome to my channel on this friday it's good friday it's good news day and i'm here to report some good news to you some respite from all the crazy ish that goes on in the world today on a daily basis we're here to balance things out bring some positive positivity back to your life and some love and hope and just positive vibes and today I'm going to be joined by a very lovely lady, a very beautiful, amazing, intelligent, just awesome girl. It's Brittany Venti. She's here. Hi. Thank Hi. you for the lovely intro, Nina. The first story I kind of like talk about is usually some sort of archaeology news. Unfortunately, there wasn't like that great of an archaeology news in in the news but there was this and i thought it was you know it's about an old painting so i thought it'll do uh and i thought it was a really cool story and it taught me a lot because this is a canadian painter and i actually didn't know who she was so i went into like this whole rabbit hole of figuring out who she was and apparently there's like movies about her with ethan hawk so prepping for this show always teaches me something and it's a uh, uh, and I think that's a plus as well. And the article says the painting paid for grilled cheese sandwiches 50 years ago now earns the uh, restaurant thousands. Uh, and I thought this was really cool. So this is the couple that owned the restaurant. A uh, little cute little Canadian couple. And this is the painting. So here we go. Next story. Uh, it's an emotional one, but I really like it because um, so just to give a little bit of a background to this, the reason I picked this story is because although it starts really tragic and sad, it gives hope to people because you can find hope and kindness even in the most tragic stories. And this is one of them. So Stranger's Kind Gesture helps Washington County family in need of support. And we're gonna just watch this story so I don't have to read, perfect. Right here, a heartwarming story in Washington County where a stranger's kind gesture helped the family in need more than they could ever have imagined. Erica Stanish explains how an unexpected letter in the mail helped give a family closure as they grieve the loss of a loved one, a story you'll see only on KDKA. Four-year-old... Uh, the story you will also see on Infinite Help um, because I liked it. So thanks, KDKA, for reporting on the story. Alon Larson's father died before she was born, but she still celebrates his birthday every year. And this year, she sent him a letter tied to a balloon, hoping it would make it to heaven. And what she got back in the mail is truly amazing. Happy birthday, you daddy. Aww. Happy birthday to you. Singing happy birthday, four-year-old Milan Larson is celebrating her father, Travis Larson. He lost his life in 2017 in a shooting in Washington County. Connected That's to the really string sad. of a balloon, her grandmother attached a note, hoping it would make it to him in heaven. It says, it, happy birthday, daddy. I love you and I miss you. And I never wanted you to go away. Happy birthday, baby girl. But what happened next is something no one expected. A couple days later, I went to the mailbox and I started pulled that box out and seen the, from daddy from heaven the baby girl and I just started crying and a random stranger so found sweet. that balloon wherever it landed and sent Milan a gift and letter from her dad in a box addressed to his baby girl I love your birthday present thank you so much daddy loves you and mommy so much and misses you all here's a present that I made just for you I hope you like them inside were three handmade Christmas ornaments snowflakes they said representing kisses from heaven with an angel attached to see the smile on her face when she got her gift from daddy from heaven was priceless. As Aww. this family continues to fight for justice for their loved one, they say this small gesture is giving them hope and faith for a better tomorrow. After what I went through, I lost the faith in people. And I, they brought it back. And I just want to thank you. Whoever it is, I want to thank you. And that is the Washington reason. County. Daddy sent it from heaven, huh? That last statement is the reason I picked this story because she went through something so terrible and for her to do this and then for someone, anyone to, they didn't have to do this. That person, that, that stranger didn't have to write this little girl back and they could have just 
you know, thrown away that that box or that that balloon or whatever and just went on with their day. But instead they chose to do this and that's a, that's an act of kindness and hu- the the human kindness and empathy that comes with that maybe made an impression on that on that child and of course it did on that lady to not give up faith on humanity because we have good in us as well and that's why I thought it was important to share the story because even if you're going through like the the hardest thing at the end of the day people are good people and they will do what they can to help you uh and i think that that is basically li- really the essence of the show is about that to to bring balance to to negativity uh what were your thoughts on this story britney um i don't know who just started cutting onions but um so please excuse that um but i think i agree with you i think it was a very cute heartwarming story so first i was gonna do this other one this this other story but it, it, it's gonna flow better to do the main story here because there's like this constant negative news about the american south like the set the southern state and this um kind of like picture that's been painted for most people in the media that you know people from there are usually either racist or they talk about this kind of like systematic racism that goes on especially in red states uh and so i thought that this is a really interesting story to kind of break that narrative and show you that there's really really amazing people in places like alabama uh a pakistani man traveled to Bir- birmingham alabama to have surgery he invited the entire city to his wedding a, pa- a pakistani man traveled all the way to birmingham alabama to have surgery unavailable in his home country in gratitude for his experience there he invited the entire city to his wedding shahzab anwar 31 had been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism a disease that had been causing him to get kidney stones once or twice a year since he was 18. he began having digestive problems he developed skin issues but the treatment for his medical issues were, was a surgery that was impossible in pakistan due to limited technology and where looked into traveling to turkey singapore and the uk and india for treatment but pandemic related travel restrictions had made things difficult and where was also worried about costs eventually and where found out that having the procedure done in uab hospital would cost him about half of what had yet he had been quoted to him uh, by other medical facilities so he started learning more about alabama a state he'd never heard of before he began posting on facebook and reddit asking for people to help him better understand the culture he was about to be immersed in for a short period of time the response he received was overwhelming he said can hear from the man's mouth himself people responded in a way that i could not i could not expect this from my own people in pakistan they not only reached out to me they met me they gave me gifts they offered me lunch they offered me dinners they took me on rides i cannot explain it to you it is it was phenomenal it was it was very different i don't think that anyone across the world will go somewhere and get this attention big bemengham literally gave me that attention that people gave out to celebrities they gave me everything i need anything i just you just name it when i ever i wrote about something there were 12 to 15 or 20 people reaching me out for that and so i believe bemengham owes me uh, so that's why i did it i invited all of them i believe someone should be coming at least because Birmingham has now become a part of my life and I would definitely love to do something in Birmingham. Uh and I thought this was again a really sweet story showing that there's a lot of really good people in the United States and I feel like this whole systematic racism thing is uh well quite frankly it's it's false. Um what are your thoughts on this story, Brittany? Uh yeah, I'd have to agree with you. Um I think it's the opposite. I actually think that I mean even if you look at when people apply for colleges, mm-hmm. they kind of get benefits for being XYZ um niche things like whether it's their race or like a disability they have. It's kind of like a quota thing it seems mm-hmm. like. 
Yeah, it is. Um, and I just like, I love these kind of stories because again, it shows good humans. They they realize this man needed something first time out of his country, going very vulnerable, going to get a medical procedure done. All this stuff is really scary. And then they, they just all came together to help him. And it just goes to show that there's so many good people out there uh, that are willing to help everybody, you know? And uh, And we just don't focus on these kind of stories. Well, they gave him that Southern hospitality. Yes, exactly. Everybody have a great weekend. Make sure you practice empathy. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to one another. And see you guys next week. Bye.